Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. Just a heads up, with all the stuff going on in the world right now, supply chains and everything else, before you turn off, because I know you, oh, you're about to start talking about the supply chain. Not how you think. I'm about to tell you how the rules are changing and going back to the way things were in the 80s. In the 80s, when I was younger, I remember one thing. You had a certain amount of time to return an item. There was a certain amount of time where a store stayed open. There isn't any more 24 hour a day Walmarts and Targets and Kroger. They're starting to shut those stores down at a certain time. And one of the reasons they're shutting those stores down at a certain time is because they, they don't have enough supply to uh, keep the place open. Then they use a little bit of the time to sanitize and clean the place up. But for the most part, uh, they're shutting these places down because they don't have enough supply for the demand. So every day those trucks come back to the store to replenish the store to the best of its ability. So they're getting to a point they have to stop at a certain time. Now, as far as the whole, remember back in the 80s, layaway that's been over with in a lot of different places but now they're not even doing it during the holiday season some certain stores would only do layaway a couple of months before a holiday season that's done for and now what i'm seeing i just tried to return something and i want to say thank you i'm not even going to shout the store out because they were so kind to me um i was just trying to return an item that was a little over 30 days uh, past its due. Now, here's the thing. I never used the item, never opened it, nothing. I had no idea at the bottom of the receipt. It says you have 30 days to return this. I haven't heard anything like that in over 30 years. So I, I want to say ever since the first Fred Meyer store came to Toledo, Ohio. That's kind of when they started, you know, lifting that up a little bit and getting away from that. And as long as you had the receipt, as long as the item hasn't been open, you know, they'll let you get away with that. But now they're going back to 30 days, no excuses. After 30 days is yours. So I'm just giving everybody a heads up on before you buy something, you better make sure you want it. You better not lose the receipt. Just pay attention because it's getting that uh, rough out here where they are not, they don't want to hear nothing you have to say. Now, thanks to these two young ladies, uh, Miss Kelly and Miss Jessica, they knew I was in that store all the time. I shopped there almost every day. So, Luckily for that, luckily they bent the rule a little bit because of that. And I had somebody else to vouch for me. But honestly, family, you you got to watch your tailbone right now. So before you go out just splurging and spending your money and say, uh, if it don't work out, I'll just bring it back. If it doesn't fit, I'll just bring it back. Don't do that. If you purchase some clothing try it on at the store make sure you really want this item because it's going to be where you know you break it you buy it or you bought it it belongs to you there's no uh give me backs anymore so i just want to throw that out to you guys be careful watch what you're buying they're not returning anything and here's the other part about that too that that we've all dealt with just to prove my point if you order something online i've received several over since summer several items that were not brand new i've received several items that were either already used somebody's name was on something i had something i purchased was already programmed with somebody else's information in it. I, I could go so long with this. 
be careful because we're getting used junk that somebody returned because they can't get new stock. Now, that's something else. If you are returning electronics, get your information out of it. Erase that memory, whatever you purchase that's, that takes some sort of memory. Erase it because I purchased at least two items just this year when I received it somebody's whole life was in it well one in particular somebody's whole life was in that I, I, I'm going to tell you what it was I purchased a um a MacBook and it was uh, on a refurbished you know deal or you know recertified or whatever you want to call it I purchased that MacBook and somebody's whole life was inside that MacBook. If I was a dirty criminal, I could have ruined somebody's life. Really, think about that. So needless to say, I took that back to the store and I'm thinking to myself, if they didn't take time to erase somebody else's stuff out of it before I could get to it. I don't want it. I don't want to have nothing to do with this or this store. So I took it back and I went and just bought a brand spanking new one with the seals and everything else. And when it came on, I wanted to be sure I was the first one to program it. So be sure if you do have to turn in electronics at all, erase all of your information, erase all of your settings, everything that you put in there, go put it back to factory standard mode or factory standards before you return stuff right now i just went through hell and i thank uh jessica and kelly because i don't know what i would have done if i would have been stuck with this item true story i'm gonna tell you why i returned it i went and i purchased it on credit i really got to looking into the credit application and the credit application stated number one um it was 28 point something percent interest. And I was like, I don't remember that. When I filled out for the card a while back, it, interest rates went up that much. I said, no, hell no. So I get the bill and the bill is ridiculous. So I go to purchase, I mean, I go to make a payment and there's nowhere on this paperwork where I can just, set this up automatically like i like auto pay and i like um to set my accounts up where i'm just doing it on the on the phone or, or do it on the computer i don't like going in with my mail right so here's the problem i'm had i'm having there was two separate entities there was let's say two separate loan agents for this one particular store this store didn't have a credit situation of their own now this was an in-store credit so it's not a visa or mastercard so one company said this is how we pay it the other company i don't even know how they're they are affiliated but it, it kind of reminded me of if anybody's ever heard of the restaurant checkers and rallies right or carl's jr and hardy's they were the same thing but they were different so I'm contacting both of them and both of them is giving me two different ways to pay. One of them, I need to pay through this weird company that I never recognized. So I said, no, I'm not hooking up nothing digitally with this company I've never heard of. So the other way to pay, I call the store and the young lady, the manager says, you have to come in and you can pay with cash only. Now this is a sporting goods store. A, a, a major sporting goods store. And I said, what do you mean with cash? I said, because I got a debit card. No, no, no cards at all. If you come in the store and pay, it has to be literally cash money, cash, like paper bills. I said, what about a check? No, cash, no. So instantly, my problem with all of this, why I was returning it at all, I don't want to have anything to do with that credit operation whatsoever. And if it meant I had to return the item that I purchased and just go buy it elsewhere, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be doggone. You tell me I have to come pay you in cash or I got to deal with a credit um, company that's out of the U.S. and they don't hardly speak no English or nothing and it's two separate entities. Nothing I just told you made sense do it.
Watch your tail feather. Everything is getting stupid. Everything is getting stupid. No, it's not getting, if things are stupid. Be careful. Things are changing whether you want them to or not, whether you believe it or not. Things are changing for the worse. So what it means, we have to be a little bit more careful in our choices and our purchases. And it also means you have to be a little bit more diligent to make sure this is what you want. All credit ain't good credit, family. Lead Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out.